Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be talking about something that's highly requested by a lot of you. Now, I've already announced this a couple of times in my previous videos that my skin has become uh, oily uh, as I grew old gradually. Now, my T-zone is something that always remains oily, but the sides of the face, like the cheek area, is normal. Acne for me is like a once in a while issue but I know that it can be a relentless condition for a lot of you. Uh, it could be solved either with the help of a medical treatment or some change in the lifestyle or food habits or nutrition could be an antidote to reduce acne um, and you know pimples. So today I will share with you a very simple skincare routine along with a few simple tips that you can follow if you want to tackle uh, your oily or acne prone skin and not only that it will also help boost your confidence in process and will also make your skin more glowing and more healthy looking don't give up on exercising i know a lot of acne prone people or acne sufferers who just give up on working out because sweating kind of makes it worse but it's not true exercising will help you keep yourself healthy and can help unblock your pores by making you sweat more just make sure you wash straight after exercising preferably before the sweat has had time to dry don't ever sleep with your makeup on it's just going to make your skin more worse always remove all your makeup before going to bed So exposure in the sun on a daily basis is very important for all of us to get that natural absorption of vitamin D and daily exposure of 15 minutes in sun can actually help you tackle your acne prone skin. How? Because it kind of uh, naturally dries out the sebum production but if you're doing that you have to make sure that whenever you're exposing your skin in the uh, sunlight you have to wear a sun protection cream but not only that if you're if you're indoors also you have to always wear a sun protection cream because the sun light can actually pass through the window panes so for that i recommend the sun protection gel cream by derm top which is a broad spectrum protection with uva and uvb rays and has spf 50 pa plus plus it is water and sweat resistant suited for all skin types and it doesn't leave a white cast Now water is essential for all your bodily functions including your liver which manages the hormonal changes. Now hormones play a very vital role in acne uh, because uh, it kind of you know manages the sebum production which is why we often see acne in teenagers because of the spike of the uh, hormonal changes that happens uh, during those uh, years. So drinking water will help you in optimal health. So drink at least 3 litres a day or more as appropriate if you're exercising. As tempting as it may seem to just poke and prod your acne but don't do that because if you're like scratching or poking your acne it's going to just create bacteria on that area and which will cause inflammation which can result in blackheads, whiteheads, red spots and that takes a long time to fade away. Make sure that you're using blotting papers to get rid of your excess oil that you produce on your facial skin. Gently press the paper against the face and leave it on for a few seconds to absorb the oil. Don't drop the paper on your face because that's going to spread the oil to the other areas. Now, it's also very, very important to add salicylic acid into your skincare routine. Now, in summers, what happens is when you sweat, that extra sweat or that extra oil can actually, uh, you know, grab all the more dirt and grime. So, to avoid all of that, it's very important to add salicylic acid in your skincare routine. Salicylic is best suited for oily and acne prone skin people. I'm highly recommending the anti acne routine by Derm Dog, which has salicylic in it. So, to cleanse, I'm using the Derm Dog anti acne foaming face wash. The salicylic acid goes deep into the pores to clean out trapped oil and dirt. So, this is not only going to slow off the dead skin cell but will also suck out the impurities and the oil buildup. It also helps in drying out the existing acne on the skin and also eliminates any sort of acne which can further cause breakouts. So pump the foam in your palm and gently massage all over your face. Once the face is all cleansed, I'm using the Derm Doc Anti-Acne Face Serum. 
It's such a lightweight serum that diminishes the acne spots and prevents new acne to be formed. It makes sure your pores stay unclogged and oil-free with every use of it by controlling the excess sebum production. So just take three to four drops and massage it all over your skin until it completely gets absorbed. All these products by Dermdog are paraben, sulfate and cruelty free, which is a big thumbs up. Also, all those who do not like fragrance in their products, I would like to tell you that the face wash and the face serum have a clinical fragrance. So try this routine if you have oily or acne prone skin. But in general also, I always recommend that you must do a patch test before you try a new skincare product or a skincare routine on the back of your form, forearm. Uh, nowhere on your facial skin just to see the sensitivity and if it's suiting your skin type So I hope these tips help you combat your acne prone issues I will have all the products in the description box below. So try these tips. Let me know your feedback and I will see you very very soon. Bye